please consider hitting subscribe button to support my channel and follow me on Instagram. Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to explain an interesting topic that I've been looking into for quite a some time and uh, looking into its logical validation to fit into the current age. Uh, let's see what that ancient data science is. Well, this is the perfect time to understand and explore this topic as we are building foundation for future technologies like machine learning, AI, uh, augmented reality, and VR. And the technologies that we uh, you know, doubted to happen in future, uh, we believe that it will happen with the power of all of these technologies. Like flying cars, uh, we, we will think that it would happen in near future. One such branch that is helping to realize these future technologies and innovation is data science. So what if data science is an ancient technology already? Yeah, you're right. So I'm saying that data science existed in ancient times, right from like all the Indian mythologic era, like yugas, I would say. And what are those? Those I would say are Kundli, and Panchanga. Well, Kundli is basically your birth chart. It contains your birth information, birth date, birth timing, and what was the star at the time of your birth, and uh, what, what, what are the planets that aligned at that time of your birth, and all of the necessary stuff uh, that is written on a paper and given it to you. So it basically acts as a blueprint for your life that like how a person behaves and if you were to uh, you know you know marry someone they respectively match the kundli to see what are the necessary factors uh, liking factors that come into match and it's basically a human behavior uh, map that is put on a, a birth chart uh, depending on your birth details and panchanga is something like you know uh, there are different uh, things that happen like based on different position of planetary motions they define it to be some uh, kala like uh, good times bad times uh, and so on so those timings for a particular day is specified uh, as a calendar that is called panchanga well before diving into it and explaining how these kundli and panchanga are related to ancient data science let me give you a brief thing about the current data science how it works so we all know that data science is all data driven so i would uh, consolidate it to be three main steps uh, it consists of it should uh, have a huge data set a wide variety of data set to examine on and a well uh, developed or des designed model uh, so that you input the data and derive some output out of it. The third important step is to analyze the output and uh, have the capability to uh, incorporate feedback to improve the model itself so that it can handle any other future data that comes into picture. Well, all these Kundli matching and Panchanga has been concepts of old age, like uh, from past yugas and all. So let, let, let's go to the initial point. Uh, let's say that the human society back then they had different kind of branches what they wanted to learn like uh, weaponry you know uh, music and astrology and something like that and they wanted to introduce a new thing new branch and uh, let's say study on human behavior and uh, what they did uh, they started to collect data on people uh, who were born on a particular day uh, at that point and they decided to record each and every birth date and uh, uh, with several number of births in a day and record their time as well and uh, you know uh, look at the position of uh, planets and stars and record them as well and they started and kicked off this science to study further and as things went past uh, they started collecting data of uh, the people's death uh, and uh, events that are happening uh, and uh, you know what are their interests so how many people are going into what fields and so on so and let's say from the starting point uh, note that I was referring to some yugas back until a point so you have huge humongous uh, set of data and with those humongous data available for literally almost around thousands of years ago with them and also uh, 
categorizing them in each and every minute uh, possible uh, differentiable categories uh, probably they, what if they have found a pattern over there and said that hey you know if we consider this category of people you know we could find extraordinary behavior and if we consider this category of people and in in that you know men tend to excel and women tend to not excel in a in a particular category where women tend to excel at example dance or something like that so what if they defined a particular model out of it to derive uh, you know possible predictions for future uh, and trends what we call in today's data science so with that sense so they might have probably you know uh, thought of implementing this knowledge that they have gathered onto the society in the form of telling astrology to them like uh, uh, they they opened up shops and say that you know uh, telling that based on your birth timing and birth chart we could able to tell uh, the future behavior of your children this is making a uh, sense with respect to the current age right like we have a data set we prepare a model uh, we train that data set onto that model we try to get to the desirable output when you compare this to the typical astrology it's not that different you give a birth chart so what is mentioned there birth date time stars and etc so astrologer will astrologer knows the different types of model models like say you know what if uh, what what would happen in matchmaking what would happen if he were to pursue something in uh, this field x field or y field accordingly when he passes that data uh, he refers to the already existing pattern that was available as a result of you know analyzing all those kundalis so he derives the result out of it and you know tells it out like you know uh, your son or daughter will be uh, doing this or so and something like that so this is correlating with the modern data science although the process are similar we notice the process being similar right but it is attached to you know some divinity uh, kundli matching or panchanga or any other scriptures for say it is considered to be superstitious uh because it has been portrayed as superstitious by our elders or their previous generations so it was one such interesting topic for me to go and explore in this way uh because i have been in touch with the data science for myself in fact if you ask your elders or anyone over the temple they could not be able to answer the origins of it or they might simply refer to it as a part of you know uh, a knowledge that was transferred by god to humans and so and so but uh, when we apply the concepts uh, that we are doing in the current age with respect to data science this seems to be a man made work but it is a uh, portray i think i think it was portrayed to be a divine or godly scripture because at that point of time people tend to believe and take anything and everything which was under the name of god but in today's case it's 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 not that easy so uh today's generation we people are very eager to put everything on table and question anything so it, it might not work uh, the same explanation what they were passing on as a godly scripture that is already failing and it is uh, purely not working instead we could say that hey this is finding to be similar to current age technology and uh, who knows they are they were also human beings uh, and probably it's a man made thing altogether now having said that uh, you know the birth chart can represent your behavior or can help uh, you match with another person uh this is based on the research or uh, if it were to be conducted this is my perspective this is based on uh, those research that was conducted like many years ago like i'm talking about yugas over here so based on that humongous data set and differentiation that they made into sub categories or even micro categories and uh, they were brilliant enough to derive uh, those trends out of it and uh, formulated in a book uh, 
so based on that uh, all these results are being told in the current age now will this will this be effective in next next coming years or next few thousands of years well uh, the answer is maybe or may not be maybe because uh, there are some uh, psychological things uh, of a human being which are very much in common till date when we compare to all the historical figures or mythological characters that are available uh, there is a dark side in us there is a, a superhero inside us there is an eager child in us there is a crook in us and everything so there are some qualities that you can predict based on uh, the available data set that even astrologers or with the help of kundli they can predict it in that sense uh, some of the characteristics can be you know uh, told or predicted uh, it may not be applicable uh, in coming years or in future generation because the current lifestyle is kind of different it's new uh, we we don't tend to comply purely to uh, the, our conventional uh, way of living or you know the tradition so some of the things might you know uh, go wrong or not as predicted there is no one gathering data about uh, who was born in a particular day and how many people were born in a particular day and uh, uh, at what time in that particular day were born so there is no one uh, keeping track of uh, collecting data of that and uh, you know trying to uh, improve the existing kundli model uh, to the current age but you know what interestingly uh, things are repeating itself there is a quote right history repeats itself this is happening uh, this is happening and we all know that it's happening google is collecting data you know uh, netflix is collecting data the recently banned app tiktok is collecting data it is collecting data to such an extent that it knows where you are it knows what you eat you know it knows what food you have ordered how many times you have ordered what is your favorite food what is your home destination what is your office destination what color of shirt you like what you want to purchase and all the things uh, about you are being known by these corporations so they are preparing a humongous data set of different kinds of behaviors in different kinds of varieties in different geographical locations for example in facebook the number of friends you are they might be deriving some trends out of the behavior of what posts you like and what posts you comment on and how many friends are uh, you acquainted with uh, you know and who are at what positions and in even in linkedin what's your rank what's your interest through hashtag and so on so there are a lot of parameters that we are providing in uh, the current age technology to these companies and they are collecting data of us and who knows with the data being collected what pattern they might find or what are the parameters on which they decide and they might come up with their own human behavior pattern or chart uh, and data scientists and data analysts who are experts in dealing with huge data sets and extracting trends and uh, very good at predicting might become digital astrologers of the future as well now i'm not being superstitious here uh, with kundli panchanga and any other uh, things or even astrology in that sense so but if you are you know not interested in that but give it a thought in this perspective like uh, with the current age technology that we have give it a thought and see whether it fits in so by this at least we can uh, explore a logical reasoning or validation for the already existing setup that we have in our tradition so that we can logically pass it on to the next generation rather than just saying or passing it as just a godly script or a divine knowledge now these kind of topics are very much interesting and if you go further down deep i believe that there are some other other logical purposes connected uh, to them rather than being plain old superstitious so i'll be coming up with such topics such interesting topics in the next videos so if you have liked this video uh, please do share uh, like this video and uh, share it with your family discuss it with your peers and uh, you know try to uh, you know 
think about the perspective rather than uh, judging it to be a superstitious thing so uh, that's it for this video i'll see you with such interesting topics in the next one bye